Hello Ramblers, so it's been kind of a long time since anybody made a video on this channel again and I just remembered that I'd never really closed off the Myers-Briggs personality type topic that I started. I mentioned that I was INFP, but I never went into that. So yeah, I am INFP and I've taken a lot of these kinds of tests and every single time I get INFP. And everybody else I've talked to who's taken it before changes sometimes, but I've never changed. And I don't know if that's just because my personality is very consistent and I haven't changed much over the years or if it's because I'm just that much of an INFP. I think INFP is introverted, intuitive, feeling, and perceiving. And though I don't think it really helps much to look at each of the variables individually. I think it makes more sense to just look at the overall picture. And when I look at the overall picture of INFP, when I look at like all these online descriptions that I find of it, I really identify it like it's me. It's completely me. And when I read blogs of like other INFPs talking about their struggles as an INFP and like certain issues that they come across during their lives as having an INFP personality, they go through and think in almost exactly the same way I do and it's almost scary. Um, I haven't met that many other INFPs in real life, but I think I've met like one other one actually, but it's it's crazy how much alike I am with other people who test INFP. So basically what an INFP is, from what I read, is that it's an idealist for one and a healer who likes to, who basically just wishes that everybody could get along. Like we don't like, yeah, when people argue, we don't like the idea of rifts between people and we try to heal those rifts. We don't like it when people fight much and I can definitely identify with that. I don't like it when any of my friends are fighting. I don't like it when I hate election years because everybody's throwing mud at each other and I can't, I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't. I just wish people could get along, could compromise and stuff like that and part of me have this really innate de desire to be the one to stop that arguing and to heal those rifts and help people come to those compromises. So. I definitely identify with that a lot. Another thing most of the descriptions say is that we're really hard on ourselves, like much harder on ourselves than other people would ever be on us, which is comforting because I am extremely hard on myself and when I think negative things about myself I assume everybody else is thinking the same things. Sometimes in order for me to get over that like self-consciousness that that creates in myself is by reminding myself that these INFP descriptions say that I'm probably being more hard on myself than other people are, so people probably aren't thinking about me in the same way that I think about me. And that's very comforting and that helps me to calm down and stop freaking out so much when I get hard on myself. The only thing that I see in a lot of the INFP descriptions that I don't identify with that much is that we don't like to deal in like facts and logic. We rather deal with like the more personal sides of issues, which I guess is kind of true about me, but at the same time, I don't know how willing I'm to admit that because I do like to work in facts and logic a lot, but at the same time, I also think the personal sides of issues are more important than the factual logical sides of issues, if that makes sense. Like when my dad tries to argue immigration reform on me, and I'm like, but what about the people who just want a better life? And he's just then throws all this logic at me and I don't really have any logical arguments to back me up. I'm just like, but what about the people? Is the only thing I can ever say. So yeah, that's my INFP personality. It was fun hearing about those of you who made videos about it. It was fun hearing about your personality types. And yeah, maybe someone will make a new video soon starting another topic. See you later.